We must preserve the integrity of the U.S. House of Representatives and censure Adam Schiff today. Mr. Chair, uh, I yield five minutes to my colleague from New York, Mr. Goldman. Thank you very much, Mr. Santos. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in support of this resolution to expel George Santos from Congress, as I did in May when I co-sponsored a similar expulsion resolution that the sponsors of today's resolution, my colleagues from, uh, my Republican colleagues from New York, did not support. I agree with everything that my Republican colleagues have said here today. But everything they have said here today was also true in May when they voted to protect George Santos. Has there been anything that has changed? Nothing about the numerous lies that Mr. Santos admitted himself to making in order to deceive his voters into electing him. Nothing about his status as an indicted criminal defendant. Yes, there has been a superseding indictment with more allegations of criminal conduct, but he is still presumed innocent until proven guilty, as my New York friends relied upon in May when they voted to protect George Santos from expulsion. Once you open that floodgate, the flood will come. And so if they vote to expel a Republican, well then Republicans are gonna turn around and try to expel Democrats. And it's gonna be this endless cycle of trying to get members of each party expelled. And I just think it should be left to the voters to decide. Now, if this were the Senate and we're talking about someone who just got elected and will be in office for another five years, maybe I'm gonna change my mind a little bit. But we're talking about the House of Representatives where Congress uh, Congress people have to be reelected every two years. So I, I want the people in his district to make that decision. I think that's a smarter strategy here. I hope they don't let us down. And the next time he tries to accost me with a child in my hand, I want him out of here. What happened exactly? He's an animal. I am holding a child. He is a terrorist. Who? You can go look at the video. Mr. Sanders, who? What happened? Tell us what happened. Mr. Sanders, the gentleman back there is a terrorist sympathizer that has no business in this building. What is happening in Israel is abhorrent. What is happening to the people of Israel should not be defended. Nobody defending Hamas has any business in this building, whether you're elected, whether you're a civilian. It is a disgrace that we allow people to parade that kind of thought in here. Okay, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say drama queen, but that was some serious drama right there. Uh, and it's all fake, everything about him is fake. What are you carrying around a baby for? What a weirdo. And then he brings it to Kevin McCarthy and demands that McCarthy look at a baby? Who goes around demanding that people look at babies? <laughs> I mean, other than the human baby that is George Santos. So we're all forced to look at this man child and his silly histrionics. So then he pretends to be offended that somebody asked him a question while he's carrying around a baby. But brother, they're in there asking questions to Congress people, and unfortunately, you're one of them. He doesn't, they, they didn't know or anticipate that you would be weirdly carrying a baby around in Congress. Congressman Schiff abused his power to pursue the Trump campaign and its campaign staff. This abhorrent behavior is unacceptable for a member of Congress. Congressman Schiff has called this resolution to censure a quote, terrible misuse of house precedent and resources and an attack on the constitution. I would suggest Congressman Schiff look inward and more closely consider his remarks. To not carry out a censure would be a miscarriage of justice and a dereliction of our sworn duty as members of the House of Representatives. We must preserve the integrity of the US House of Representatives and censure Adam Schiff today. And after all that tough talk, well, guess who didn't even vote in favor of the measure? 
The resolution introduced by Representative Anna Paulina Luna of Florida was tabled on a 225 to 196 vote with 20 Republicans joining 205 Democrats in voting to scuttle the effort. Seven representatives, including Representative George Santos, voted present. Yeah, so he is all talk, no action, which seems to be the exact opposite of what they call as integrity, which means being about it and you know speaking about it 